Ever wondered why modern gaming just doesn't cut it anymore? Well, let's break it down, folks. You see, there's always a big hullabaloo about the newest games, with their fancy graphics and over-the-top trailers. But then, you get the game, and it's like trying to open a pickle jar with greasy hands. The controls might as well be written in ancient hieroglyphics. And don't even get me started on the barrage of updates and patches. It's like having to constantly repaint your house because the color keeps fading. And originality? It's becoming as rare as an honest politician. Seems like every new release is just a rehash of something we've already played. Then there's the not-so-subtle push towards in-game purchases, which feels a bit like being nickel and dimed at a fancy restaurant. So, with all these frustrations, you might be asking, is there a better way? And to that I say, why yes, there is. Now I know what you're thinking. Eight tracks, are you serious? But bear with me here. Yes, folks, we're talking about the same eight tracks that your grandparents used to listen to their favorite jams. Those bulky, cartridge-like objects that look like they're straight out of a sci-fi movie from the 70s. And guess what? They're about to revolutionize your gaming experience. Now I hear you asking, why on earth would I want to play video games on something that predates the Walkman? Well, let me tell you. There's a certain charm to the simplicity and durability of eight tracks. They're like the cockroaches of the music world. You could probably drop one from the top of a skyscraper and it'd still play just fine. Imagine, no more worrying about scratched discs or corrupted files. With an eight track, you can game on, rain or shine, apocalypse or alien invasion. They're the gaming platform for the end of the world. And let's talk about the gaming experience itself. I bet you're used to your fancy graphics and intricate storylines. Well, with the limited storage capacity of eight tracks, we're talking about a return to the golden age of gaming. Developers would have to trim the fat and focus on the essentials. No more lengthy cutscenes or unnecessary side quests. Just pure, unadulterated gameplay. Picture this. A game that's all about the challenge, the strategy, the skill. No distractions, no fluff. A game that's not afraid to be a game. Now, doesn't that sound refreshing? Of course, the graphics would be, let's call them minimalist. But who needs photorealistic trees and ultra-detailed character models when you've got raw, intense gameplay? It's not about how the game looks, it's about how it feels. And let me tell you, nothing feels quite like an 8-track game. So if you're tired of your fancy graphics and convoluted storylines, why not give 8-tracks a try? Okay, okay, I know what you're thinking, but how can I possibly play my favorite games on an 8-track? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's take a journey into the realm of the hilariously absurd and imagine for a moment that we're playing the latest first-person shooter on an 8-track. With the limited storage, you'd have to reduce the game to its bare-bones essentials. No sprawling maps, no epic cutscenes, and certainly no downloadable content. Instead, you'd get one level, one weapon, and one enemy type. It's not just the ultimate hardcore gaming experience, it's the only hardcore gaming experience. Now imagine playing a role-playing game. You'd have to switch eight tracks every few minutes just to progress the story. One minute you're battling a dragon, the next you're in a tavern, then you're in a forest. It's like a choose-your-own-adventure book, but with more shuffling around and less continuity. And let's not forget about sports games. Imagine playing a football game where you could only play one quarter at a time. The halftime show would be you, frantically switching eight tracks, praying you don't accidentally put in the track for the third quarter. Now that's what I call immersive gameplay. Then there's the issue of multiplayer games. You thought split screen was bad? Try playing a co-op game on separate eight tracks. You're both playing the same game, but in completely different realities. It's like quantum gaming. The beauty of 8-track gaming is in its simplicity and unpredictability. It's a throwback to the good old days when games were challenging, frustrating, and didn't hold your hand. It's not just a gaming experience, it's an adventure in patience and perseverance. So next time you're frustrated with a game update that takes forever to download, or a microtransaction that feels like a ripoff, just remember there's an alternative. It's clunky, it's inconvenient, and it's completely impractical, but it's also hilarious and uniquely charming in its own right. So there you have it, folks. Ditch your PlayStations and Xboxes. Eight tracks are the future.